I borderline just want to call it Christmas Island, but no. How about Lacuna? That's the name of, uh, of a- it's the name of a city in my, uh, in my own fictional universe that I've written, but let's see. Can I come up with anything better? Nah, fuck it. Lacuna it is. Alright. Click the capital icon to open the settlement map. Was that not the capital? Regent. Sure. Octavia seems useful. The Regent ensures subjects' complaints and concerns are heard by their ruler and serves as a link between the Baron and the people. That'll work. Counselor deals with troubles of the common folk and helps l settle land disputes and agricultural matters. This advisor ensures citizens remain loyal to the throne. This is the... So he's the only person who can fill that role. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, the general is the highest ranking officer in the army of the barony and is responsible for watching the borders and protecting the realm. Hmm. Sure, Casilla do Eldori. No candidates are available for this? Really? Divine. Um... Okay, Harem, you get your shot, but if you fucking- If you just tell people to kill themselves because reasons, I swear to god, I'm gonna throw you into the- I'm gonna drown you in a lake. Sure. Uh, I could use more community, I guess. Claiming new regions. You may claim new regions to expand your territory. Yeah. Meet the special regional conditions, that is, complete a quest or reach a certain rank and blah blah blah. Sufficient BP for the claim. Find an unoccupied advisor who can take charge of the claim. As soon as you blo- What?! Fuck yourself. Fine. Whatever. I like these sound effects! I fucking like these sound effects. Alright. Harem has a request. Okay, what do you want to discuss, Harem? Tristan lowers his head. Greetings, Baron. I am sorry to take you away from your other affairs, but your people need you! When the stolen lands were freed from the Stag Lord, the people sighed in relief, but many are still confused by their swift change of fortune. Truth be told, they simply don't know what to think of their new Baron, nor what to expect of you. Will you be a fair ruler for all, or only for those of wealth and status? Status. Let us, let us reassure, reassure your people. Show them where your favor truly rests. Perhaps a small celebration would help to win them over. Of course, you could spend the same amount on a luxurious dinner for the wealthiest of your barony, but I recommend organizing a fair for the common people. The ones upon whose shoulders your pow power truly resides. Sure. 
Sure. That seems useful. Tristian smiles warmly. We will hold a common celebration where everyone will be welcome, including the poor and the downtrodden. This is a great, the greatest gift a ruler can give to his people. Harem looks embarrassed. He runs his fingers through his beard and clears his throat a few times. I heard, not that it is important, but, well... He clears his throat again. I heard that an ancient trade road built by the dwarves of the Five Kings Mountains runs through these lands. I don't know what happened to them, to them or where they went. Where the fuck would trade roads go? Unforgiving time spares no one, but the road itself is still here. And possibly- oh, you meant the traders, alright then. And possibly not only the road. Ooh. Harem holds his beard in his fist. Well, Thork and Iron Brew, I have a request. If you find any dwarven ruins in the area, I would like to see them with my own eyes. Why do you ask this? Harem fiddles with his beard again. I shouldn't, probably. But it's like a wound that's never healed. You know it will only hurt more, but you still need to scratch it. Of course, it's foolish. Foolish and vain, but I still wish to look at them. Of course, Harem, if I find any dwarven ruins, I'll take you to them. Thank you, Thorkin Ironbrew. I, well, ahem! Thank you. Hmm. Huh. Who's that? Jihad Kavken! Your Grace, I was at Oleg's trading post recently. And I noticed old Bakken just standing there, bored to death with nothing to do. This is most unfortunate. After all, the old grumbler is a very knowledgeable alchemist. However, he has no use for his skills, since the locals need nothing more than the simplest of healing potions. And then it struck me, why don't you hire him as your court alchemist? His decoc d decoctions what? and tinctures would certainly prove most useful to you. Also, it might be cheaper than simply buying from him or some other merchant. Well, I mean, I like the man, so why the fuck not? Yes. Trade taxes. Some half-elf trading fabric in the capital discovered a loophole in the law which made it possible to avoid paying most taxes. The news quickly spread through the anus. Uh, yes, sure. Go for it. Oh, right. That is the exact same thing that I just took thing of. It's been two weeks, blah, blah, blah. Curses. Okay. Rank up. Uh, yeah, he's already doing shit. So, okay. All right then, where can we go? What can we do? Storyteller, who are you? The man standing before you resembles an elf, but a very old one. His face is wrinkled and his beard is, is as white as mountain snow. The man seems to be completely blind. The old man stares past you with unseeing eyes. He seems to be consumed in his thoughts. He mutters a soft me melody, swaying back and forth slightly to its rhythm. The man shudders briefly and stops singing. His mouth opens and closes a few times, bringing, a mi bringing to mind a fish brought ashore. Ah, who is there? Is that you, your grace? Who are you? I am an elf from Kilnin. My name is not important. I am the storyteller. Collector of stories. I collect unknown legends of ancient times. The man smiles, but it doesn't seem to be directed towards you. Long ago, I was a smith in Kionan. The fire of the forge has burned out in my eyes, but I am grateful for it. If I could see, I would yet forge suits of armor for Iadara's guards. 
Instead, I have stepped on the path of an adventurer and gatherer of ancient legends. The man ponders silently for a moment. Many peoples are long dead. Their homes crumbled to dust, and their bodies turned to ash. Only legends can still tell us of their triumphs and defeats. Their joys and fears. I would be so interested to hear the stories of o uh, stories told about us after our demise. I have always been drawn to the stolen lands where countless expeditions, armies, and even kingdoms have met their untimely ends. When I learned of a new barony being founded in the heart of these lands, I knew I wanted to be part of its story. So I made the journey here. Are you really an elf? Do other elves age like you have? A common question. Despite my unusual looks, I am an elf. An old one, yes. Perhaps older than any other elf of Kionin. However, I doubt my age alone is responsible for my appearance. I'll, I keep the stories of many people and races, some forever gone from the face of Golarion. But they live on in my memory and my heart. When I accept a new story, I lock it within myself, bearing the weight of its words and the emotions they invoke. I sometimes think that I probably should have died long ago. But some incomprehensible force is keeping me alive and granting the, me the ability to continue my quest to gather stories. Be it divine power or fell curse, I am grateful either way. How could you tell it was me? The old man smiles sl slightly. It is not so hard to recognize a ruler by the way he walks. No one in here steps as confidently as you, your grace. Really? All right, would you care to trade stories with me? The man's voice rustles like, an aut like autumn leaves. I am a collector, not a trader. If I share a story with you, you receive the power to pass it further, changing or embellishing it, whether willingly or not. Can I be certain you will keep my stories intact in their absolute purity? The storyteller ponders for several moments. No, I do not think so. At least not yet. These legends are the most precious valuables in, of this world. The last remnants of ancient tribes. They are beacons illuminating the way to the past, allowing us to meet generations long gone. I cannot let their light fade. The path to the past must not be lost. The old man thinks for a moment, then continues. But I can offer you a deal, your grace. If on your journeys you discover items that come from eras past, bring them to me, and if my eyes can see the stories that these relics hold, I will gladly share them with you. And if you find all the pieces of any ancient artifacts, I can even recall my smithing skills to unite them and restore their power. Really? Holy shit. I need a wise advisor in, at my court. Would you like to serve me in matters of state? The storyteller's voice grows soft. Thank you for your words. I am I'm unlikely to be able to interpret the intricacies of the political world or the affairs of the treasury, but my advice regarding the magic of the arts would be useful to any ruler. I'll leave you to your legends till we meet again. Uh-huh. Ooh, a chest! 